there's an entire set of companies and industries now that are created to make engagement effective and efficient in social media. And the power behind that is the open graph. Facebook was brilliant in determining that while they had 900 million users and were growing, if they could get people to connect on the web, they would have the keys to the store of, of social, that effectively things would be connected everywhere using their technology. 21% of the top 10,000 websites out there, which account for an enormous portion of all of the traffic on the web, are using the open graph for authenticating their users or allowing, allowing their users to review content and share content with their peers. In the past, if you had a website and you had content, let's say you were the New York Times and you wanted people to have special content that was restricted to users, you were forced to seek a registration and a password, and often, as we all know, we forget those crazy passwords, and so when we come back, we just blow it off and don't actually access that site again. Well, by allowing consumers to use Facebook authorization and simply click a button that says, I'm connecting to this site with my Facebook authorization, now consumers have got an incredibly more efficient mechanism for accessing restricted content, and those content sites now have an incredibly new powerful tool for communicating back to that individual's friends and colleagues. Facebook has become the new kingmaker for technologies. In the New York Times, it talked about two applications, Vidi and SocialCam, that were launched earlier this year and had less than 10 million users. As soon as they shifted to allowing Facebook to communicate on the open graph and through the Facebook channels to consumers about these applications, they exploded to over 40 million users. So just by an application saying, you have to use Facebook to be able to use my app, that you can immediately see extraordinary growth in the exposure of your technology or your brand. And social has become a feature. It is no longer a destination. The new players in engaging with consumers are all of the content platforms that are using this social authorization and the sharing of their content. So the big explosive growth companies that we've heard about in the past several months like Pinterest and Instagram and Spotify and even Branch Out really are content manufacturers. They don't own their consumer. Their consumer is connected to their platform through Facebook, but what they're bringing Facebook is tremendous content that those consumers want to share. So consequently, you have a symbiosis between content providers and the social network.